Now look guys, this is still the same day. Storm burned off for now. I'm out here paddling around all by myself. If you look around, there's nobody. This is what it's like during the week. Another dragonfly just hitching a ride. He was, so I tried to film him. Camera shy there, bud. Just floating around. I think I'm going to try to paddle over to the other side. Check out that spring I was talking about earlier. Sure is nice out here now though. Doesn't look like we're going to be getting any more storm. Looks like it's done for now. Watch what you say though, because in 15 minutes it could be pouring down rain. And I'm out here in the middle of the lake. I'm just being pushed around by the wind right now. See, I'm not even paddling. What do you think, guys? It's nice out here, isn't it? The sun's bright. Nice and warm now, though. Got to change what I was wearing. It's all bundled up earlier. <laughs> Dragonfly just skimming across the water. I missed him. Everything's coming to check me out. Check it out, guys. I think for once in my life, the wind is blowing me the way I want to go. We're slowly drifting this way. That's where that spring is that I was talking about with the pipe that comes out of the mountain. Yeah, see what? We're slowly drifting that way. And the current actually goes that way. That's where the dam lets out. Yeah, this is cool. Just floating along. All peaceful. No loud music. No babies crying. No kids screaming. There's cows. Hello, cows. And there's us. Just chilling out here. Sure turned out to be a lot different day than I thought it was going to be, guys. I thought it was going to be raining all day. Hello, butterfly. He's just circling us. We're in a big yellow flower. You want to land on it? Okay. I don't mind. I'm not even paddling. This is taking no energy whatsoever. I thought it'd be easier to paddle over there than walk over there, but man, I didn't realize it was going to be this easy. It's going to take a long time if I just drift the whole time. I'm not going to drift the whole time. I'll paddle here and there. Trying to give different angles every time I come out here. I'm having a blast just being able to paddle around whenever I want to. I don't even have to blow it up. It just sits there by my tent and waits and it's ready and then we go. Made it pretty far. As the cows have noticed too. They're taking over our spot. Oh well. Look how far we've made it now guys. This is the other side. Not where we're headed to. But that's where we came from. Way over there. You see that tree sticking up right there. We started just on the other side going that way.
decided to come over and check out the other side up a little closer from the shoreline. Show you guys too what it looks like over here. Now if there's nobody over here. Fish keeps jumping on this side when I'm trying to film on that side. Silly fish. They're so camera shy. Did we get that one? I looked away, but the camera was still pointing that way. Hope so. That'd be cool. I don't think the wind's blowing us the way we want to go anymore. Let's see. I don't think we're moving at all. The wind's blowing us one way and the current's pulling us the other way. Because the dam's right there around that corner where that rock is right there. See that rock? Right there. Yeah. If I were to go over to that rock and left, that's the dam right up there. And you can't drive across that dam. It's not like at the other lake I go to. Where Bushcraft Camp is. Because that right over there on that little spot, that's where the cabin is. That's private property. You can't go over there at all. But I can go on the other side of the dam. Hey, the wind picked up. I think we're moving a little bit. But you got to be really careful over there because the there's rattlesnakes over there. That's the only place I've seen them at this lake so far. Doesn't mean it is the only place. Saw a big old gardener snake yesterday. Crawled out from under a rock. Went slithering right past my toes. Is that too bright for you guys? Sorry. When I started the camera, we were coasting along at a pretty decent pace, but I started the camera and we stopped. There was a little breeze, but now look. These little ripples you see are from me moving around on my boat like this. Those are the only waves going on out here right now. It's so smooth and clear and beautiful. We earned this rad pack. We endured the storm. Everybody else left. But here we are. Enjoying this beauty. Isn't that amazing? It's so worth it. It is to me at least. I started getting close to that shore over there. But that's all seaweed over there. You can't tell from over here. But as you get close... I started getting stuck in the seaweed again. Yeah, see, we're not moving at all. We've been lined up with this stump here the whole time. Oh well, this is nice. Look at it this way. Isn't that amazing? Me and the fish and the bugs, we're the only ones making the waves now. There's no wind blowing at this very second. I 
And then the thunder rolls and the lightning strikes and pow! I flip the raft again. <laughs> nope. Yeah, what do you say, guys? We ain't moving. <laughs> no worries. Just gonna float around. Probably get some more sunburn. Look at this, it's getting pretty burnt. But this side's not so bad. I should just float around like this. <laughs> Hey, we moved a little, look. See if we can watch the fish jump together. Be cool if I would have brought something out here to feed them with. Something's just bubbling. I think I'm getting chased by a sea monster, guys. Like bubble, bubble gets closer. Bubble, bubble. Look at all those little bubbles on top of the water. Something's following me. There we go. Come get your picture taken, Mr. Sea Monster. Frog Camp Sea Monster. It's a big dog, human size. He's bubbling like crazy over there. I wonder what that really is. Come get closer. I want to see you. See? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Weird. See the clouds on the water? If I stop shaking the boat and rippling the water? <laughs> Man, bubble, bubble, bubble. Should I paddle towards it or paddle away from it? Hmm. I don't think I feel like swimming again today. I think I'll paddle away from it. Hello, Mr. Dragonfly. You coming for a ride? Alright, rest your little wings. It's alright. Oh, we realized I was filming. See? They can come land on here all they want. I don't care. big yellow flower floating around the lake. There's so many of them around us. You have to get pretty close to show up on camera though. They're all over the top of the water, these little blue dragonflies. We got tons of colors of dragonflies here. I was trying to get some pictures of a, a red one. He kept moving a lot so Sorry if the pictures come out a little blurry. He wasn't cooperating very well. Then there was a black and white striped one. One of those really big ones. He was cooperating pretty good. Uh oh. We're going the other way now, guys. Just started pulling us back this way. Yep, the current got us because there's no wind. Okay. That's the opposite of where we're trying to go. So I'm going to start paddling. Get back with you guys in a minute. Yuck. Can you guys see that? I don't want to go through that nasty. That's the way we would need to go. And then up that road. I get stuck in all that seaweed. Wind picked up right when I got next to it, too, and tried to blow me up into all that nasty seaweed. Remember, I came over here and there was a bunch of seaweed. You can't tell until you get close to it, is the problem. 
you go ahead and for one spot and then you get close and it's all seaweed then you go to the next spot I think it's like that all the way around the only spot that's decent is my spot over by my camp the seaweed's just nasty here look at that can you see it down there This is right before you get into there and then you get stuck because I can't paddle out because my paddles get stuck in the weeds. You have to shallow paddle and that's not what you need to get out of it. Which is weird, the current should be pushing me away from it because where that little culvert is right there is where the stream comes in. I'm going to keep cruising around and see if I can find a better spot. It's pushing me all over the place and all, mainly into the weeds. I'd rather not get stuck and then have to swim through all those weeds. Not a smart thing to do. Went up here by myself. Yep, see it's blowing us right into them. Okay, I'll be back guys. Look how ripley it is now. Sorry for the spinning, the, the wind's doing that to me. I guess we're going to get a 360 view. I just wanted to show you guys it's not completely smooth here anymore. Look at that. Wee! We're getting shoved all over the place. This little raft gets blowing around like crazy. I love it. It's just a little two person one. It's perfect for one person, because then you can have some stuff with you. I don't think two people would really fit in this. Look, my feet go all the way to the other side. There's not much for room in here. What do you think? I don't think so. I think it'd be cramped or you'd tip over. And I do good enough tipping over on my own. There's a chair over there. I've seen it. And then I'm getting blown the other way. Right here, you get blown all over the place. You know, a little ripple. You gotta keep watching the sky, though. Always give yourself enough time to get back to your camp. You don't want to get stuck out on a lake right in the middle of a storm. Unless you're me. I don't mind so much. The wind's pretty bad for the microphone though. But I just wanted to show you guys. Here, I'll put you in the waterproof. I'm not going to be talking for a minute, but you'll be able to see without the wind. Can you guys see all these dragonflies? There's tons of them. I'm trying to hold the camera on them, but I'm spinning around in the wind. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Hold on a sec, guys. I'll get us over there closer. Lots of seaweed here, too. Look at them. Just going nuts. Yeah, I'll try to spin back around. This is hard when you're just spinning. What's going on here? Look at all the dragonflies.
that dragonflies mating. Is this the breeding area? It must be. You got one upside down with its butt in the air and the other one comes up and backs up to it. I don't know. This isn't the Discovery Channel, so <laughs> we won't focus on that too much. There's tons of them. I hope they're showing up on here. It's just like everywhere you look, there's dragonflies. There's little blue ones. I left frog camp and came over here to dragonfly zone or something. This isn't really a camp. I've camped over there, but it's terrible. You can barely ever get out of the sun. So if you get a sunburn, you're kind of screwed. You can't do anything. In my place, if you get a sunburn, you just hang out at camp for a day or so. And yeah, look, they're flying together, too. Weird. Like, connected to each other. See? I guess we came over here to see the dragonflies. I'm just sitting right in the seaweed, too film this for you guys. No worries.